take time to be holy. Speak up with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him, whatever be time. In joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt soon be fitted for service aboard. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every name. Now, hallelujah. In the word of God, oh, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every name. Oh yes, he answers prayers on your feet. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The Lord Jesus answers prayers. Only Jesus answers prayers. He answers. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The Lord answers. Oh yes, he answers prayer. Amen. The Lord is us, answers prayers. Only Jesus answers prayer. He answers. Oh yes, he answers prayer. He answers. Oh yes, he answers prayers. The Lord is us. Answers prayers, only Jesus answers prayers. He answers. The Lord answers. Answers prayers. Amen. Watch us answers prayers. Only Jesus answers prayers. Glory to God in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Amen. King of glory, eternal reality. We worship you this morning. We thank you because you are in our midst. The master of the universe. The creator of heaven and earth. Son of the living God. The redeemer of our soul. Son of the living God. The great lion of the tribe of Judah. He that died and yet is alive forevermore. The true witness. He that is holy. He that is righteous, he that is a true witness, will bow before you this morning. You are the bishop of the sanctuary. You are the angel of your presence. We bow before you this morning. Where your children gather, you are in their midst. We bow before you this morning. You are the prince of peace. We bow before you this morning. You are the Lord of Lords. We bow before you this morning. You are the King of Kings. We bow before you this morning. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. Come into our hearts. Sanctify our hearts. Speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I hide myself on the cross of Calvary. I am nothing. You are the creator of heaven and earth. I'm just a pen in your hand. You are Jehovah. Use me, O oh Lord, to write whatsoever you want to write in the hearts of your children this morning. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. 
Before I go on the message, I want to sing one of my best hymns, special number. I love this song so much. I sing it every day. I sing it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. Because the Bible says, without, the Lord said in John 15, without me, you can do nothing. And I know that without Jesus, I cannot even stand. Without Jesus, we cannot even serve him. We did not choose him, but he had chosen us. He is the one that is leading us to this life journey. He is the one that will receive us in glory. Without him, there is no salvation. He is our hope of glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Guide me, O thou. Great Jehovah. Pregame to the boundary land. I am weak, Lord, you are mighty. Hold me with a powerful hand. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Open now the crystal fountain. Once the healing waters flow, let the fiery cloudy pillars lead me on my journey through. Strong deliverer. Be thou see my strength and shield, strong deliverer. Be thou see my strength and shield. When I tread the verge of Jordan, bear my anxious fears subside. Bear me through the swelling current. Let me save on Canaan side. Songs of praises. I will ever give to thee songs of praises. I will ever give to thee. Savior, come, we long to see thee and to dwell with thee above and to know in full communion of the sweetness of thy love. Come, Lord Jesus. Take thy wearing people home. Come, Lord Jesus. Take thy wearing people home. Amen. I love that hymn so much. It gives me encouragement so much. Praise the Lord. This morning, I discovered that many people have professed Christ. But there's a burden or a problem of every believer. Many people have removed the physical ornament. Many are dressing holily, physically. But inwardly, something is still wrong. Praise the Lord. Inwardly, something is still wrong. And what is that thing that is wrong? The heart of man. Praise the Lord. This morning I'm going to speak on the title, Beware of Your Heart. Beware of Your Heart. Praise the Lord. Beware of what? Your heart. Ezekiel 28. I'm reading from verse number 1 to verse number 18. Number 11 rather to verse number 18. Ezekiel 28, 11 to 18. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyros, and say unto him, Thus says the Lord God, Thou sealed of the sun, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God, Every precious stone was thy covering. Do you know who is being talked about here? Lucifer. Let's go back to the Bible. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, the topaz, the diamond and the beryl, the onyx, the top, the top jasper, the sapphire, the, the emerald, and the coven coal and the gold. The workmanship of thy tablet. And all of thy pie was prepared in thee in the day that thou was made. Do you see the compositions of Satan? What God used to create Lucifer? Do you know that this is a costly thing God used to create Lucifer? Make him in beauty. Make him perfect. The most beautiful thing. Do you know he was the morning star? Amen. Let's go back to the Bible. 
Thou art the, the anointed cherub that sealed up, that covered it. And, thou, and I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence. And thou hast seen, therefore, I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thou, thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Praise the Lord. Do you see what destroyed Lucifer? His beauty destroyed him. He saw that God created him specially. He saw the other angels, they don't look like him. He saw man, man was not like him. The beasts were not like him. The fish in the sea, no one was like him. And within him he says, I'm the most beautiful thing that God has created. He was the most beautiful thing. There was nothing as de- then as beauty as Lucifer. He was called Lucifer because of his beauty. He was something else. But his beauty entered into his eyes. And the day his beauty entered his eyes, iniquity has come upon him. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. I'm reading from verse number 12. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 14, 12. How had I fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? He was the son of the morning, the morning star. How had I fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How had thou cast down to the ground that thee weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, listen, where did he say it? In his heart. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend on into heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sights of the Lord. I will ascend above the heights. Of the cloud, I will be like the most high. What an insult! What an insult! What an insult! I want to be like the most high. I have been created in beauty. Every angel see me and panic. All the works of God see me and panic. That means I am God already. I must go and sit side by side with God. Great insult. And all these things was conceived where? In his heart. The heart is the burden of man. Many are born again, but sanctification is a problem because proper sanctification takes place in the heart. Proper sanctification begins with the heart. You cannot claim to be a holy and righteous child of God with a dirty or a stained heart. It's not possible. He, his heart, he has proposed to be like the most high. The greatest insult. John, like a son, asking his father, how, well, how, how did you burn me? Oh, my father, I'm older than you. What an insult. You must be careful, beware of your heart. You know one thing is that the heart of man is almost like the smallest, smallest part of the body of man. But it's the most difficult part of man to, for man to control the heart. And the heart of man is flesh. Do you know? Because if somebody dies, you bury, the moment die, you open the body, you see the heart. Do you know? Do you know? 
But that thing has become the problem of so many people. Let's go to Genesis 1. I'm reading from verse number 20, just 26 27. Genesis 126, are you there? And God said, Let us make man in our image, and after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeped upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Remember, it took God time to compose Satan and create Satan. And when it was in the time of man, God said, how will I make man? I will make man in my image. Man will look like me. I want man to have everything I have. The difference is I am God and he will be man. I want to, as I'm ruling in heaven, I want man to rule the earth. Are you hearing me? All I have done, the work, son, the work, manship of my hand, I put it in the control of man. Genesis 3. I'm reading from verse number 1. So it took God time also to design man. Are you hearing so? Before you, he look you, you are man like a picture of God. Do you know? When you look at man, you are looking at God. No wonder the Bible says we are gods. Because we are in the image of him. And we are after his likeness. God is a tripartite being. Man is a tripartite being. Do you know that? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. A man is made of our spirit, soul, and what body. You can see the composition God used in man. Genesis 3 from verse number 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any other beast of the field. The serpent snake was more subtle than any other. That means there are a lot of beasts. The serpent snake is the king of the reptiles. Do you know that? Why the eagle is the king of the birds? Why the lion is the king of the forest? Is it not so? Then if you go to the sea, you have whale and shark as the kings in the sea. But apart, apart from all these heads of these different creatures of God, in the kingship of reptiles, snake was more subtle than any other. Even the way he moves, even the way, looking at the snake, you know that the movement of this thing does not please you. Do you know? A snake does not move straight. Do you know a snake does not move straight? It twists his body. It twists his body. The way most women of the world twist their body when they are walking. The way most women twist their body and you don't know you are walking like a snake. A snake moves like this. And most women move the same way. Let's go back to the Bible. Verse 2. And he said unto the woman, Had God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. You see what God said? Now I know and I believe, although Satan is older than man. Do you know that? Satan is older than man. And I know as he has planned this, maybe he has gone to ego. Can I use your body to form man? I know that the eagle will refuse. Are you hearing me so? Maybe he has come to the lion as the king of the forest. Can I use your body to deceive man? The lion will say, there is a greater lion. I cannot fight that lion. Are you hearing me so? And then he came to the snake. I want to use you. And the snake was giving itself to be used by Satan. And he entered in the snake. And go to the man and say, woman and said, Her God said, You shall not eat every fruit of the garden. See what God said? See how he lied. Bible says from the beginning he has been a liar. And he's the father of all liars. See how he lied. What God did not say. We will see what God said in Genesis 2 17. Let's read on. Verse 3. 
But of it, verse 3, And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, We should not eat of it, neither shall we touch it, lest you die. Do you know that the woman lied here? Do you know that the woman lied? Let's go to Genesis 2.17. Genesis 2.17 So you know that the woman lied in that place As Lucifer lied Genesis 2.17 I read But of the trees of the gang of the knowledge of Good and evil Thou shalt not eat of it For in the day thou it, Thou it test thereof Thou shalt surely die This was what God said He did not mention touching the tree But the woman added her own because already Satan has captured the heart of the woman. Are you hearing me so? You know, I used to tell people that when Lucifer is speaking to you, he speaks to your mind, your heart. That's why he gave people so easy. The woman has made a serious mistake by engaging in that discussion, that conversation. It was a big problem the woman did by giving heed to talk with a stranger. Bible says somewhere in the scripture that a stranger would not listen to you. Understand so? But the woman had listened to a stranger. Let's go back to the Bible, chapter three, where we are reading. I'm reading verse four now. And the serpent said unto the woman, "Ye shall not surely die, for God don't know in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened." And ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Did we not die? Did we not die? Since the day this fruit has eat. Is it not still affecting us tomorrow? At times I imagine a three years old child. A three years old child had begun to talk. You will watch that child had done something bad. You will call that child and ask that child. He says, not me, mommy. I'll be imagining the harm this disobedient caused to man. This disobedient destroyed man in totality. This disobedient. That a child in the womb is lying. That people lie and plenty to be very good. Because from the abundance of the heart, the mouth. Let's keep our reading. I'm reading verse number six now. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, now the heart of the woman had been captured. She saw that the tree was good for what? For what? Do you know what that signifies? Lust of the flesh. That was lust of the flesh. Let's go back. And that it was a pl- it was a pleasant it was pleasant in the eye. Do you know what that signifies? Lost of the eye. Let's go back to the Bible. And a tree to be desired and make one wise the pride of life. You see how the man problem began. John, first John 2.15 Love not the world. The right things that are in the world. Is it not so? The loss of the what? Flesh. The loss of the what? I and the pride of life. It began in the day man disobeyed God. She saw it was good for food. Loss of the flesh. She saw it was good, present in the eyes. Loss of the eye. She saw that it was a tree to make one wise. Pride of life. Until tomorrow these three things is holding man in bondage. Till tomorrow. Why you cannot be a daughter of Zion or son of Zion the way you want is on these three things. And now these three things is ruling the heart of man. Are you hearing what I'm telling you so? These three things is now ruling the heart of man. Loss of the flesh, loss of the eye, pride of life. And no matter how man struggles on his own, Paul said the things I hate to do, I find myself doing them. And the things I would love to do, I do them not. The heart now, it is like Satan enter the heart of man. To live in man. Are you hearing me so? It's like Satan entered man to live in man. 
Because Adam disobedient, man separated from his creator. Do you know that? So Satan came to dwell in man. Let's go back to the Bible, verse 7. And the eyes of them both were opened. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves apron. You can see the deceit. God knows you'll be like him. Do you know how they become like God? The whole wisdom now, I that open. It's just to say a fig leaf and make apron. Who is wearing apron? Is he not naked? Person with apron is the person not naked? Eh? Can apron cover a man and a woman very well? But let's see what God in verse 21 before we continue. Verse 21. The same 3 21. Unto Adam also unto his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothed them. You can see the wisdom they had was to dress naked. But God, who is God, clothed them very well. Go and see what the definition of a coat. It starts from here to here. Are you hearing me so? But do you know that today we have come back to make apron to wear? Are you not seeing naked? Thank God for your lives, especially sisters and brothers, that you are no longer, you are no longer wearing apron like the world do wear apron today. You know that people who, ne wear ne who walk naked on the streets. Do you know that? Even men. The other day, I saw a young boy that sat his trousers to here, and the bossa he wore inside was red, but the dirty of it has turned into black. I'm telling you. Man has gone back to put on apron. When the Lord God know that man cannot dress naked and clothed man very well, man went back to wear apron. Let's go back to where we are reading verse number 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife did hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. From that day, man had run away from God. Till today. Till today, man had run. As God is telling come, man is fleeing away. Man doesn't want to come to the presence of God again because he knows that he can no longer stand before this holy God. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? They hid themselves and look out. Verse 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are thou? Man, where are thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Since that day, we became to fear God. Satan now became the God of man. Since that day, what God says man do, man cannot do it again. Satan knows the desires of the heart of man and asks man to go ahead. And whatever Satan tells man now is what man does. Let us read verse 10. And he said, let's, verse 10. And he said, who told God is not talking? Who told thee that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat. Ah! Man became afraid of God. Man ran away from the presence of God. Man began to hide from God. Because now sin has come in and anything man does is, you know, everything in sin is a secret. Do you know? Do you know everything in sin is a secret? Everything about sin is done in secret. People that kill each other, they kill in secret. Do you know? When you want to lie, it was in secret you conceived that lie to go and lie outside. People that commit fornication adultery, is it not in secret? Since that day, man now hid. Believe that where he is now, God can no longer see him. Praise the Lord. Genesis 6, 6 verse 7. Six five and six first. Genesis six. Genesis six 
Genesis 6 verse 5 I read And God saw That the wickedness of man Was great in the earth And that every imagination Of the thought of his heart Was only Only Verse 6 And he And he repented God The Lord that he had made Man in the earth And he grieved him in his heart God saw That every thought of the heart of man Is evil Man does no longer think good But evil Because evil Satan is not living in man You know when you are wearing the cloth of some, somebody Or putting a cloth Definitely that cloth is your covering Is it not so? So now Satan now lives in man and because Satan is evil, man became evil. The thought of man is evil. The way of man is evil. The behavior of man is evil. Anything about man now is... And God saw that this evil is wickedness. And God repented and said, Ah, if I had known, I would have known a man. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. That the Almighty God made you and say, If I had known, I would have not made you. The heart of man became polluted, the heart of man became evil. Satan dwells in man, even as we are sitting. Many people here, you know, if, you, if God opened the heart of man to you, you will roar without looking back. You will flee. You will not look back. So, Satan now dwells in the heart of man to control and rule man. To let man do the will of Satan and no longer the will of God. Man can no longer do the will of God but the will of Satan. Look at even the serpent Satan used. Remember you died. Do you know that a serpent does not die? Do you know that a snake does not die? Unless it is killed or something or the other. When a snake is very old, do you know what it does? It will wear off that skin and wear a new skin. Have you not seen that? A snake doesn't die unless by sudden. When it's old, 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 it will wear off that skin. If you see where a snake is doing this, it's like when somebody's from, I've seen it. It's like when somebody's vomiting or something. The way it, from the head, the whole skin till the tail, he wears it off. And wear a new skin. And wherever the snake removed that skin, that snake will never come back to that point again. It doesn't get there again. But you, the man, say that enter into the snake to deceive. You die, even die internally. You even die internally. Wickedness took over. We saw what happened between Cain and Abel. God now says, okay. Adam and Eve has made mistake. I have forgiven them, but the sin has come to stay. I want to trust the two sons of Adam and Eve. And, and Eve. Two of you, you are a farmer, you are a hunter. And in, I want to test you in your sacrifice. And Cain gave God a lean sacrifice. And Abel gave God a fat sacrifice. Is it not so? And Cain saw that his was not accepted. His brother was accepted. Do you know what he did in his heart? He became angry with his brother and stabbed his brother to death. And when God said, Cain, where is that brother Abel? Say, am I my brother's keeper? Look at the answer he gave to God. Am I my brother's keeper? He slayed his brother. Evil began to multiply on daily basis. So brother killing brother did not start today. Friend, this one friend does not start today. Cain slew Abel. And God asked me, say, am I my brother's keeper? Do you know, I'm sure in that answer of Cain, God is his surprise. Do you know? Because he did not think what to answer. It's like he has known that I will do this thing, and any answer that comes, I will say this. Where is the brother Abel? Am I my brother's keeper? And God saw that man is terrible. If not that God is full of mercy, maybe before our grandfather generation, he will have forgotten about man. But when he remember what he took him to make man, how he made man to look like him, he shows his mercy on man. Yes, the man is wicked. The thought of man is evil continually. 
That is how a man can sit and, and look at his son, look at his daughter, look at his wife, and took to a temple, slay for ritual. You know, slay to be rich and to kill a soul. Man does not feel anything. Man, the feeling of man was removed by Satan to continue doing evil. That was why one of the messages our international director preached I love so much was man and Satan in conspiracy against God. When you listen to that message, you, you will cry for your life. Because the two specialties God made became against God. Team together to fight God. Man and Satan. And from your heart, you know, you know your heart. When you see a brother, you wish how I will, I will have been like this and not him. In your heart. Let's go back to the Bible. Jeremiah nine seventeen. Jeremiah nine seventeen. Jeremiah 9, are you there? Jeremiah 9, 9. Thus says the Lord God of hosts, Consider ye and call for the morning woman, that they may come and send for Calling women that they may come 18 and let them make haste and make up a willing for us thou, that our eyes may, may run through the earth with, with tears and our eyelids gush out with waters 17 17 9 thank you very much 17 9 17 9 please 17 9 i read the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it that you can be eating with a man and he has did your grave, you don't know. You will struggle for life to help somebody. He's planning for your downfall. The heart of man became desperately. Only God can know the heart of man. No matter how you and somebody live the years, you can never know man's heart. But there are things they will tell you that person did. You might even swore that he cannot do that. But he's the one that does such thing. The heart became wicked. Do you know that as we're talking of witches and wizards, it's like every man's heart is a witch. Because in our heart, we have wished many people that death. Do you know? In our heart, we have wished many deaths. In your heart, you have murdered so many people. In your heart, you have wished many people to be poor. In your heart, it is the heart that when, this, when the eye sees, it sends to the heart. The heart began to work. The heart can cook that thing for six years. Six months. When the heart sees it, evil. When the heart hash that thing, the eye saw, it's evil only. Do you think you will see H.J. Chiribuo Mado? Or was it? For you to know what I'm telling you that you, this thing can be conceived for years, for months before it's carried out. And once it is carried out, it is evil. Nothing good comes out of it. And you are here running for holiness, running for righteousness. Is your heart holy as your flesh? You have removed the fiscal ornament. 
You have removed the physical trouser. You have removed the physical rings and nose jewels and that and this and that and this. Has it been removed from your heart? Because many have removed the physical thing, but they have seen them. You saw the composition of Satan. All the compositions of Satan were the things that is being used to make ornament. Do you know? Whether it is ring chain, bangle, bracelets, earring, neck chain, neck chain, everything, uh, whether that one shining or what, was of the composition of Satan. And God uh, caused Satan, and everything about Satan became cursed. And he knew that the Lord has caused him. And that thing that is about him that is caused also alongside with him, he wants man to raise it to perish. So many, I know that some will sit and how eh, when I was in the world, how can you be a believer running the heavenly race and be remembering when I was in the world? Eh? What was in the world? Loss of the flesh, loss of the pride of life. Is that what you are remembering? You you will see somebody that just well, uh, and now you claim to be holy. You wish as oh, when I was in the world, I dressed more than this woman. Quickly, your heart has lost it. Quickly, your heart. Many people are not either gone arm robber or biro arm robber. Many are heart robbers. Many people are robbing their heart. Do you know? Many people rub in their heart. And yet, you don't even see this heart. Very tiny thing, no. But an engine of evil. A house of evil. A house of deceit. The heart is so deceitful that I remember when I was living with my family in Wari before they moved to Wari. A sister, a woman came to my wife and was telling my wife how two ladies we are together friends live together and fortunately one got married and the other one was not yet married and the one that was not yet married we asked him the one that's married how are you living with your husband and this one will be opening herself to the friend he be engineering the friend say if I marry I cannot render from my husband my own husband how much does your husband give you are you hearing me so see if I marry I cannot take that until she pushed this lady out of her matrimonial home and marry the man. Deceitful. So, uh, one of our pastors was telling me how a youth leader in a church saw a sister to marry and go to her pastor and say, The Lord has ministered to me to marry this sister. The pastor in turn went and married the sister. They are, these people are my neighbors now. Sam, you know them. You know them, they are from your state. I'm telling you, the Lord has ministered to me. This sister is my wife. The pastor turned and married the sister. The heart is deceitful. I'm telling you, the sister now and this man that married her, they are my If you are standing at our gate, the next compound by the left, one the store outside, the woman that owns that store. Now, you can see what is in the heart. When one sees good and tell another, behind him, he will go and claim the good. And maybe before him, he'll be saying, Wait, the Lord has not answered. I have prayed. Do you know? And what they want in the name of the Lord, though, I have prayed. But the Lord has not spoken yet. But they are devised sin and evil to carry out. Your heart, you know your heart. Do you know that every man knows his heart? Do you know? Do you know that every man knows his heart? There's nobody in your heart that doesn't know his heart. You know what is in your heart. You know the evil in your heart. Let's go to Matthew 15. Let's go to Matthew 15. We'll see the things that happens in the heart. I'm reading from verse number 7. Matthew 15. Verse 7. I'm reading. Are you there? Well, did I saw the prophet prophesy of you, saying, These people draw it now unto me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart 
is far from me. Members of holiness movement, those who are here to join you, is your heart far? Are you here in lip service? Do you worship when others are worshiping? But in your heart of heart, you know what you are intending to do. You know what you come to do. Are you an agent sent? And you will come and deceive the pastor. You can sing very well. And the pastor will make you a choir leader. He will make you a prayer leader. And you know that your heart is not in that appointment. Until you carry out what you want to carry out. People honor God with their mouth. Like all this denomination today, they are people that honor God with their mouth, uh, with their lips, and worship Him in mouth. But their heart, because if their heart is not far from God, they will not contain holy living. They will not contain holiness. Are you hearing me so? They will not fight against the revelations of God. They will not fight how people dress. If their heart is not far from God, all this thing you are seeing they are doing is just service. They are only rendering service. And if they fail to repent, they receive the reward of service. Let's go back to the Bible, verse number 9. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. When I and my mission partner went to Ghana, we met a pastor from Kumasi, who the biggest church, as Catholic is the highest church in Nigeria, in Ghana the highest church is the Church of Pentecost. He's a pastor of Church of Pentecost in Kumasi. When he got to know about holiness, reverse back to holiness, members of the church report to Accra, that see what the pastor is doing. The church council invited him. This man was telling me and Mike this, this world by himself. Invited him. Says, if you have committed for adultery, we will have transferred you to another branch. But for holiness, you must leave us. Philippa, Papa. Philippa's father. Doctrines of men. Say, if it's adultery, they say you commit. We will transfer it to another branch. But for this standard of holiness, you must leave us. Are you hearing what is happening? It is happening everywhere. My brother, one of our brother, chapter leader, was sat from Presbyterian Church. He has his first baby. They say, come and baptize your baby. Say, I will not. There is no infant baptism. They say, well, we'll give you time to think. And after the time, they say, he said, child, if I'm baptizing, is not scriptural. What am I baptizing my child unto? Does he know the Lord? What is he going to confess? They sack him from, from being a parish, a district pastor. And if they were happy. And it's happening everywhere. Yesterday, our mommy was telling us how Sister Zenim changed and she become they were mocking her. Eh? Simple because to choose, she chose to dress like a daughter of Zion. Is there no difference in the dressing of De Deborah and Delilah? Eh? Eh? Why is it today? You see Deborah, you don't know. You see Delilah, you don't know. Why? And pastors are comfortable with this abomination. In the house of God. Husbands are comfortable. Because if the husbands are not comfortable, their wife cannot dress before they will open breast and go outside. Do you know? So husbands are comfortable. Husbands are comfortable. That's why their wife will dress naked and go out. They don't complain. How long will this abomination last? Let's go back to the Bible. 11. And let me finish 10. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth the man, but that which cometh out of the mouth. This defileth the man. Then came his disciples unto and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were fainted after they had these things? You see how the whole church became offended because we are saying 
allow the children of God to serve their father in holiness and in righteousness. The whole denominational churches became angry. They are the Pharisees, the Sadducees and the scribes. They became angry. When they see you stop putting your ring, they will ask you, have you joined them? It's like we are now the rebels. This Presbyterian pastor was told in their pa council of ministers meeting that the message you learn from holiness movement is heresy. You should allow women to dress the way they want to go convince them. You should not be talking about against one man, one wife. That is no longer necessary. And the worst is that the people love to have it so. Do you people know? That is what the people want. But as far as our God is concerned, we cannot have it so. Unless you did not invite us. If you invite us and come around us, we must sound the alarm. Are you hearing me so? And I thank God that the three sheep of the shepherd, they are hearing this and they are running for their life. Let's go back to the Bible. And he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. For thing, let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, they shall fall into the dish. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. That's one thing I love with Peter. When you tell Peter the one he didn't understand, he will not close his mouth. Say, Please, this one, I didn't understand this, oh, Master. Can you break it down to our own knowledge? And let's see what Jesus answered Peter. Amen. And Jesus said, Are you also, are you also yet without understanding? 17. Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever enter it in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast out into the drought. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they define a the man. The things that came out of the mouth come from where? That means like the heart of man is where the thought is. Are you hearing me sir? The heart of man is the thought. From the thought of man, the man speak it. Let's go back to the Bible. For out of the heart proceeded what evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, theft, false witness, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hand defile not a man. Do you see the things that came out of the heart of man? Evil, murder, fornication, theft, false witness. People, do you know that people, believers today will lie and paint this lie that if you are not careful, you will condemn that person. They will paint the lie so well that when you hear it, you dance it. And most of this preach on the pulpit. Even some stand on the pulpit and lie to the congregation. What is not, they say it is. What does not happen, they say it's happening. Fornication. Do you know that before a man sleeps with a woman, he has slept with a woman in his heart? Do you know? That is where laws come from. As you are doing your restitutions of theft, education certificate, force, uh, forgery in business and this, have you done the restitutions of the hearts of the loss of your heart? Have you remembered the sisters you see and wish? And you, you see their nakedness as you are looking at them. My mission partner told me how a man went to a bank to collect money and stood behind a lady this lady was so beautiful and what she wear was dangerous and when the man was standing behind this girl he released 
That man is done already. He's finished. Many are like that. Don't shout, hey. You know your heart. You know the gears in your compound. You know those beautiful women. That when you see them, hey, you have had sex already. Most believers' sex today is in their heart. No longer in the physical sex. And nobody saw this secret sex in their heart. We are repenting. Have you repented of this sex in the heart? Have you done that repentance? The sisters you lost. Have you said, sister, I ask God to forgive me. I lost it after you. In your heart. Even the brother is the same thing. Many are now born again. But because of the state of the heart, they are halops, fornicators, adulterers of any kind and level. Now, and yet when they come, they dress, put tie, wear a long gown or long skirt, you will not know that the person you are seeing is a fornicator. Do you know? And only the Lord that said the secret knows you are a fornicator. And you yourself know you are a fornicator. Do you know? Do you know? You know you are a fornicator. Because you know the thoughts of your heart. You know the evil thoughts. You know the, the thoughts in your heart. All those things you consist. You know, when I was in the world, when somebody does me something terrible, I don't lie. And I wish that person dead in my heart before six months, the person would die. I'm not telling, I'm not exaggerating. It happened in my office. The man was right because I was stealing with Bible. He carried it upon his head. And I wish him dead. Exactly the day it was six months. December 25th that year he was rushed to UBTH. They caught his leg and he died. I even saw this man when he died in my dream. Telling people, look at what Sam has done to me. I'm telling you. Do you know what the heart is? That the heart is worse than the bomb of Boko Haram. Don't you know? People you have murdered in your heart. Leaders you have removed already from their office in your heart. Leaders you have removed in your heart. And you come here and say you are going. Which heaven are you going? Is it this my heaven of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? That's not the heaven. I'm going to ask men of old how they entered heaven. Ask them the kind of heart they have to enter heaven. Not this dirty heart. Not this corrupt heart, not this evil heart. The heart is worst. Many of us are now born again. But our heart has... That was why Jesus was praying. Say, Papa, sanctify them by the word. For the word is truth. He know they have heard him. He know they have, heard, they have heard his laws and commandments. And he knew that their hearts... Something is wrong. Because it was from the heart. Every time you see Peter, would deny him. And you say, Peter, get behind me, Satan. But they won't understand what he was saying. Because this heart in Ezekiel 36 from 25 say, I will take away the stony heart. Satan is a stony heart. If the Lord did not remove it and bring a new heart, this is, you know, this stony heart is like a tree. This tree has grown, has branches. If you call the branch of a tree, would the, do you want the branch board again? Eh? It will board again. So the tree needs to be uprooted fully from its foundation for a new tree to be planted. And that's why you cannot be like Jesus. Because the old tree has not been uprooted to plant a new tree. That's why you cannot be like Jesus. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in the mouth, not in the heart. Are you hearing me so? I want to be like Jesus in the mouth, not in the hand. Until that tree is uprooted and a new tree is planted, you cannot be like Jesus. Many, what is going on today has never helped a lot of believers. What is happening in their heart? Evil thought, murder. Many plan coup in their hearts. They overthrow somebody in their hearts. 
Yet when they see you, they laugh with you and you feel that you are dealing with a human being. Mark 7. Mark 7. 21. For from within out of the heart of man preceded evil thought, adulteries, fornication, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, and foolishness. You have you have done all the res, your covetousness restriction. The covetousness of your heart, have you done that? The thing is tough. Oh. Have you done that? Because there are many the heart is hiding. You know. You need Jesus 100% so that he can assume your heart and show you your heart. So that you know the ones you have not done. And you know the words you have done and keep doing covetousness. When you see a firehouse, you have coveted it in your heart. When you see money, you don't covet everything. The heart, oh God, deliver us in Jesus' name. May the Lord deliver us in Jesus' name. The heart. It is the heart of man or woman that will make him to or her to change the color of his skin. Do you know? To bleach. Everything is not in the engine. In the heart. Everything. Everything is hidden in the heart. Before armed robbers go and rob. If, if you watch uh, if, if those who are in security, uh, security, all the arms of security, will tell you that there is no crime without an insider. Do you know? There is no crime without an insider. And when they investigate thoroughly, you will find the insider. At times, the insider might be the man of the house, his wife or children, his brother. You understand me so? At times, the insider. And that insider, when this happens, will be the one causing. Like, uh, I read this in newspaper. And then within four days, I was traveling from a worry to worry or worry to worry. They were reading it on news. Somewhere in Lagos, a woman that belonged to a church, and it happened that she has four children. General compound. One early morning, a boy of 10 years old, 8 to 10 years, was sent to go and fetch water from the well. Nobody saw the boy again. They looked and saw the pocket inside the well. So people assumed that the boy has fallen inside the well. Young men in the company in the company jump inside the way, search, they could not see anybody. Are you hearing me? And there is this holy sister who the whole area know that is a holy believer. Who disturb the compound with prayer? Who do evangelism every day? Nobody know. She even led the prayer they're praying for the missing child. Later in the day. She carried the gun and must go back. Big one. Out. Suddenly, God is awesome. Some people say, Madam, what is in your head? No, it's in the compound here. And a the bus stop. They first and open the bag. This eight years old boy, they tie his mouth, hand, and leg inside the gun and must go back. Last year in Lagos, it was a national news now. The news was everywhere. Who sent you? My. Pastor, before police will get to the pastor, he has taken off the heart of man. Why not him take her take from her own children? The heart of man, evil, destruction. If you are here. And you know your heart. Today, we must go back to Jesus to change this heart. Because with this state of heart, you cannot be... When you want to fly in the rancho, the heart, old man will pull you down. You can't go up. Many evil nothing. 
in 2013 April, Francis, you are aware, but I didn't tell you people. The first crusade of Imo State. We bought two cows. We bought two cows. One had been killed. Our mind is after the first second day we saw how the crowd is. We killed the other cow. Are you hearing me, sir? The one, the boy that was killing the cow for us, a little boy, not a melon, but he had been living with the houses, came at night and stole the other cow. And stole the other cow. And when he was calling in the morning, he was cursing. Looking for, I laughed in my heart. I said, this one, I'm telling you, the heart of man. How much is that cow? 100,000. Is it equal to his soul? Eh? But as he has conceived that in his heart, if he does not finish it, he will not rest. That's the problem with the heart of man. He will not rest. Our hearts are the remaining part of our cleaning. You understand me so? The only part that remains for us to clean now is the heart. And until it is cleaned, there is still a dot on your Christian race. Philippians 2 5. Philippians 2 5. Let this mind, are we there? Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Because all these things we are seeing in the scriptures, none was of the mind or the heart of Christ. None. His heart was pure. His heart was perfect. His heart was humble. We know how he, as the son of God, humbled himself and became a servant. Are you hearing this? There was no pride in the heart of Christ. He was the master, the savior, yet he's a servant. He serves the people. Let this mind be, if you don't have the mind of Christ, the race will be in question. The Paul, when Paul developed the mind of Christ, he said, it is no longer I that live it, but Christ live it. Because the things he does now, this is not Saul or Paul, Saul of Tarsus. The man that lives in now does them. You understand me, sir? When this mind comes upon you, you will see that you have, you became like the air in your thought. You became like the air in your thought. The mind of Christ. A mind that was never offended. Do you know he was never offended? Do you know? He was never offended upon all the insults of man. They say, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. And he was saying that from his heart. Purity. That's the end of purity. In John 14, it says, The prince of this world cometh and had nothing in me. Are you hearing me, sir? Because spirit, soul, and body, then he was man, so he has the nature of man. You understand? He has a spirit, he has a soul, he has a body. Nothing can be found in the hand of Christ. Even in his thought, no error Satan can find. Are you hearing me, sir? Even in his thought, even in his words, nobody will say, Look at, condemn him with this. Despite that, false witnesses lied against him. The high priest said, Are you the son of God? He said, Thou hast said. You say that the son of God. The high priest grew annoyed, tore his robe, said, What witness do we need again? He has spoken blasphemy. If you don't have that mind, and that is why you gossip, because your heart is not yet delivered. That's why you lie. That's why you lost. That's why you covet. That's why you, at once or wise, can cheat or give bribe. At least nobody sees you. You understand me, so? But if your heart is pure, nothing happens again. You know, I keep telling people that people are the one hindering the manifestation of the grace of God upon their life are you hearing me so when your heart is not pure how can his grace manifest fully upon you are you hearing what I'm telling you how can 
His grace manifests 100% upon you. When this morning you saw somebody and you say, and they greet you, you make, mm. and you say you have a clean heart. Psalm 51. Psalm 51. And read from verse number 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. David, heart was so polluted that as the king of Israel, though a man after God's heart, he was, let me say, at the back corner of his house and saw Bathsheba laughing. Where that also Bathsheba see that the king is there that day, nobody knew. Are you hearing me so? <laughs> when Bathsheba knew the king would always stand there and that is how she wants to go and take her bath. You know, these things are very funny. And the king saw this naked woman and David lost. And after committing the act with Bathsheba, Pregnancy came. The woman told her, being the king, I was the president, she sent for the husband. So that he can come and sleep with his wife within, because nobody will know the difference of the pregnancy. And the man said, How can my men be fighting in the war front and with a woman? David says, If this is blow, I am in trouble. He now wrote a rare death sentence and handed over to Raya. <laughs> and gave the man, he carried it there. Do you know that if it's most of us now, they will open the letter and check what is inside. Do you know? Because if you really open that letter, he wouldn't have delivered that letter. And gave it to the head of the host. And when Joab, Joab read the letter, King has told them, put him in the hottest battle. Joab quickly sent Uriah and Uriah died. You see, the heart of man took his wife, killed him. If not that God is too merciful. Are you hearing me so? No, that God is too merciful. Took a man's wife and killed him in the process. But I thank God for David because he says, even in sin did my mother conceive me. As we are all born in sin. The nature of sin. Has any parent sat his children down and began to teach them what is sin? Eh? Everybody grow, it, it, it's sin us. It's sin born. And everybody, is, whoever is born on this earth, is born in it. But David say, create in me a clean heart. Oh God. And renew. Are you hearing me so? Sanctification completed in the life of David. Take not the Holy Spirit away. Do you see the difference between today believers and the, and the early church? Because when I read the Bible, saw the manifestation of the Holy Spirit upon the life of the early church and what they did and what is happening now. It's like the Holy Spirit is no longer the same. Do you know? Because the Spirit was bearing the witness on daily basis. But today, is it the same? Eh? Because the Lord created in them a clean heart, the Lord renewed in the apostles a right spirit. Without a right spirit, the Holy Spirit will not dwell. You understand? Without a right spirit, the Holy Spirit will not dwell. When I look at the accounts of the early church, it pricks my heart. Are you hearing me? So, have you received the Holy Ghost? No, have you given a to Christ? Yes. As a lay hand, it comes. But today, what is happening? What is happening today? Is it not the same church? Is it not the same Jesus Christ or the Holy Ghost? 
then there is no more manifestation. When Peter raised Tabitha, the people saw him come out with Tabitha alive. Do you know? It was a wonderful thing. But today, because we don't have a clear heart, our spirit is not renewed. That is, you know, the Holy Spirit cannot work with a, a dirty man. Do you know? A man whose spirit is dirty, the Holy Ghost cannot work with a man. No matter how you claim, no matter how educated you are, when you start, you speak like Satan. With dirty spirit, the Holy Spirit cannot use you. But we saw Holy Spirit turn the life of the early church. You understand? Manifest upon their life on daily basis. Check the account of the early church. It was a wonderful thing they did. So we need our hearts to be recreated. We need our spirits to do all to be renewed. So that this race, many are struggling because there is no renewal of their spirit. That's why I'm trying my best, Pastor. Which best are you trying? Shall we rise on our feet? Which best are you trying? Which best are you trying? Do they try in the heavenly race? Do they struggle for it? Eh? Do they struggle for it? So my lead is instead of this struggle. Go back to God in prayer. To create in you, in you a clean hand. And for the Lord to renew a rightful thinking spirit within you. And when your mind and begin to talk to God. Talk to God in prayer. Time to remove this heart. And then plant in you a new heart. The heart of flesh. A heart that will serve him. A heart that will fear him. A heart that will love his neighbor as himself. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Don't murmur. Pray. Talk to him in prayer. Ask him. Confess to him. All those negative evil tongues you have exhibited. Confess it to the Lord. All the negative thoughts. All murders in your heart. All covetousness. All false witnesses in your heart. Confess it to God. Confess it to God. Confess all the people you have removed in leadership position in your heart. Confess it. The whole people you remove in leadership position in your heart. The whole stealing in your heart. All fornication and adultery of your heart. Confess it to God. Confess it to God. He said, A new heart will I put upon you. I will take away the, the stony heart and give, I will sprinkle a clean water upon you and take away the stony heart and give you an heart of flesh. Ask for the heart of flesh. Ask for the heart of flesh. And tell the Lord to remove the stony heart. Tell the Lord to remove the stony Satan that is a heart upon you. Pray to God, commit that heart to God. Ask the Lord to circumcise your hearts today. Let the circumcision of heart take place in your heart today. Take the Lord to take away the foreskin of your hearts. Let Him give you the heart of the flesh at this moment. Cry to God. Cry to God. Cry to God. That defy that evil heart. That carnal mind. That heart that costs you every day. 
that think nothing but evil today let the Lord take away the hearts let that heart be taken away today let it be taken away today let it be taken away today let God move by his spirit to circumcise your heart let the God move by his spirit to circumcise your heart cry to God at this moment this heart this heart this heart that is evil this heart that I always think evil thought conceive evil thought evil imagination the Bible says whatever they conceive in their heart to do shall come to pass let only righteousness that shall be consuming you let only true let only that which is good that which is of good report that which is of virtue that which edify only such thought should go through your heart every day you struggle with evil heart let God take that heart away let him take that heart away let him take that heart away In Jesus' name we pray. Finally, we are going to pray from the book of Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. Ezekiel 36. Verse 26 says, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you an heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to work in my status and ye shall keep my judgment and do them that is a promise of God you are going to pray this prayer according to this promise God has promised to take away that wicked acts away from you God has promised to take away that rebellious act from you that God has promised to take away that lustful act from you that promise to take away that act that does not glorify it and he has promised to give you a new heart the heart of the spirit I want you to pray to God according to this scripture ask the Lord Lord this is your word today I present my heart before you why should it be that only evil I will be thinking why should it be that only loss will I be thinking why should it be that only God that does not glorify you oh Lord take it out of my heart it's a stony heart that heart that resists your will that has a resist your will that has a resist your cancer that has a resist your will oh Lord take it away from me Lord I present my heart only you can do it you promise to take it you promise to replace it with the heart of the spirit with the heart of the flesh the heart that I will love you Lord my God and my Father I am praying today give me the new covenant the heart that new believers the mind of Christ the heart that Jesus has oh God I need a heart oh Jesus do it Lord 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 my Father let your spirit do this eternal work in my heart Lord let your spirit do this eternal work in me, O oh God, my God and my Father, I cry to you, Lord. Hey, Jesus, only you can do it. 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 Do it, my Father, today, Lord. It is your covenant right. The new heart is your covenant right. The new heart is your covenant promise. The new heart is that which God has prepared that you will walk in it. That is the heart of Jesus. The Bible says he will revive. He reviled now. The enemy come but they could find no evil in him. Evil must leave your heart today. Evil imagination must leave you. Evil thought must leave you. No evil must be conceived in your heart. Let the Lord take away the wicked heart. The heart of Satan. That corruption has been in you. Today is going. The Lord is taking it away. Corruption is going. Wickedness is going. Misconception is going. Falsehood is going. Oh Lord, take it out of the heart of your people. Jesus name we pray I read Philippians 
chapter 4 verse 8 he said finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are of just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things so your heart must be guided you will ask God to grant you the grace to guide your heart the Bible says in Proverbs guide your heart with all diligence that out of it proceed the issue of life if it comes you must not give attention to it whatever Satan will come you will not give attention to it whatever that's not righteous somebody is coming to tell you anything that is evil good evil report evil communication you must guide your heart you must reject it the message you have just listened to is a production of holiness revival movement worldwide Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiry, Contact us on 0813 635 6813 and 0805 683 4323. You can also reach us through our email address Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus I believe in
I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you. I love you. I believe. I believe. I believe. 